Good morning and welcome to Thornley's 8th Virtual Assembly. And as always, we start with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week's theme is heroes, and I want to focus on one hero in particular. And that's England and Manchester United striker Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford is in the news at the minute because he's trying to hide highlight the plight for free school meals students so that they can have their vouchers extended across the summer and be fed properly. Marcus Rashford knows all about poverty. He talks about growing up that he often went hungry. His mum was a single mother, she had five children to support and she was reliant upon a minimum wage which often didn't provide enough food for the whole family. He often found himself in breakfast clubs, he was allowed free school meals and neighbours also had to intervene at times to help feed him and the rest of his family. He remembers scheduling a weekly visit to Poundland with his mum so she could buy seven yogurts for under a pound, but at least she knew that Marcus would receive a yogurt every day. Um, he remembers being reliant one year for his Christmas dinner from a charity shop, and he also said he wasn't alien to food banks or soup kitchens. And it must have been really tough for Marcus and his mum because they'd see other people perhaps going on foreign holidays and having material things and they couldn't even eat properly. And I want to link this to this week's gospel because it's also about food. Um, Jesus talks about the bread of life and he talks about nourishment. And he's talking to his followers saying, if you nourish my body and my blood, that will be enough for you on life's journey. And there's a lot of people there thinking, I really don't understand this. I don't know what he's talking about here. And I'd never criticise these people because to have faith in Jesus and then not understand what he was talking about and this obstacle and to walk away from that message must have been quite hard for them. But there were some other people who were really heroic. Uh, people like Peter, who, when he explained this, said, Lord, to whom shall we go? And Peter didn't fully understand how the journey was going to end up and the disciples, but they had a faith and they knew that life was all about looking for answers. And I think that's really prevalent in the minute because a lot of us can be under stress and we're looking for answers and there's a lot of questions that we can't answer. And sometimes we can get down about that and feel that the path isn't clear in front of us. And yet you look at Marcus Rashford and you think there was a lad who had plenty of excuses for his head to go down. His mother had plenty of excuses for her head to go down. But they kept going because they had a faith. And there's the most important thing he said was, I had friends now from wealthy backgrounds but they never experienced the small percentage of love that I received from my mum. And that's what Jesus was talking about. It wasn't the food, it was the love that he was offering to sustain us on our journey through life. And I think that's similar to Marcus Rashford, that that's the thing that sustained him. And I'm sure he's got an awful lot of money now to spend his money on other things and other causes he could send himself on, but he's decided to give back. And that is because of the path that his mother made for him and the path that he chose to show, just like Jesus was offering with the disciples. So well done, Marcus Rashford. Thank you. Mr. Fitzsimons, in his introduction, spoke to us about people in our lives that share. And Jesus, at the bread of, as the bread of life, is a hero for all of us. And as I said, Catholic will talk a lot more about that. So we stop for a few seconds. We remember all those that we love, all those that we care for, and we remember all of our Year 10 students who this week, for the first time, have come back to school. That's been different. But I hope for a lot of you, it's been exciting to come back and see your teachers, but also to come back and see our school and get back into some sort of routine. So as we are remembering who our heroes are and who are the people we love, 
we take a few seconds to remember all of those that we care about. And then we pray to St. John Bosco as our patron and our founder, as you say, St. John Bosco, father and teacher of youth, help us to be one with each other. Help us to be inspired by our heroes, by our teachers, our NHS staff, and also those in our families that inspire us and teach us to be one. And now, if you click the link that is in our description and on our video today, we are going to join our school and all other schools in this National Assembly, and we join CAFOD. So at 10 o'clock, join them and pray with them and share your commitment.